Haggerston School for Girls in a London. A third of pupils take drama GCSE, with 93% getting A star to C grades. Foundations for this success are laid down as soon as girls arrive in Year 7, and find drama on the timetable in its own right. Quietly, can you get a pencil cases out? This class are only five weeks into their first term at secondary school, but they've already learned to take drama more seriously than at primary. In this program, we'll see them develop gesture, expression, and cooperation skills to make and evaluate frozen pictures with their teacher, Kelly Jasur. Are you the last one in? Can you hurry up? Come on. We're going to do a little recap, all right? What have you learned so far? Put your hands up. We've learned a lot. Let's think about the studio rules. Don't come in the studio with your shoes on. Okay, we don't come into the studio with our shoes on, so that's one of the first things we learned. Yes. Um, we line up quietly. We line up quietly. What do we do next? We sit in a circle. How do we sit in a circle? Chatting and carrying on? And silently. Silently. Perfect. I believe that drama is a discipline. And I think if that discipline isn't instilled from the start, as a teacher, I, I cannot imagine my, my lesson flowing and I cannot imagine my kids being totally engaged. I'm going to warm you up, all right, and get you focused because we're going to be doing some physical work today. As I said to you earlier, we're going to be looking at frozen pictures. I want you to put your hands at your sides. I want you to stand with your back straight. Now, we're going to do some breathing. Where, are, where is your focus? This is where you should be looking. This is your audience. Breathe in. Hold it. Focus. Think about today's lesson. And release. Perhaps it's one of the more cliché warm-ups, the breathing, but, you know, it is very important and it works. Whether it's year 7, years 10 or 11, it does work and it does get them focused and they understand it. <coughs> I'm going to show you a photo and I'm going to take a good look at that photo, all right? The girls are going to make their own narrative frozen pictures. But first, they must think about what pictures it's actually do. Just pass it on. You've got to have a starting point, and the starting point for us here is the picture. I actually nicked it from the art department, really. It's a school setting. Some kids are exiting the classroom, some kids are actually engaging with the teacher. So there, there is a story there, and they could, you know, draw from that. What do pictures do? Tell us. Bring back memories. Okay, they bring back memories. Good. Yeah, they capture moments. They capture moments. Good. Perhaps somebody could tell me one thing that they that encapsules all of that. They actually tell what? Tell the story. Brilliant. Photos tell a story. So how will their own frozen pictures tell a story without speech or movement? Based upon what you just saw, does anybody have any idea what you think might make a good frozen picture? Yes. The body language and the way that the face expression. Facial expressions, good. Clear gestures, so you can understand what the story is what the story is. All right, big, clear gestures, excellent. When no one speaks. So what's that? So A good frozen picture you must have. Silence. Complete. Silence. Silence. You can't talk in a frozen picture, can you? You're going to copy this into your book for me, all right? I'm going to give you about four minutes. You can do it really, really quickly. In year seven, I would say the first half of the term when the girls first come to the school, we spend a lot of time doing book work just to, to get them into that, that frame of mind of trying to remember everything that they've done. They could refer back to their books as well. And some of them have these concepts. I, I remember in the first lesson, not this group, but I had another year seven group that in the first lesson, the child said to me, so what, we're not going to do anything? She actually said that to me, Miss, we're not going to actually, you know, create a scene, do something. She won't, you know, you know. Uh, you know, often a lot of them come with that, that preconcept, oh yeah, drama, they came from primary school. For them, drama is after school, you know, perhaps a school production, and they don't understand that there, there are things to be learned. Now, I'm going to put you into groups, all right? And you are going to create some frozen pictures for me, all right? I am going to give you the title for your picture, but you're going to come up with the story, the setting, and you're going to checklist all of these things and make sure that you've done them. Now, group one, you're going to tell a story about a picnic, all right? A frozen picture of a picnic. Group two, a birthday party. Go. Group three, 
A wedding. Where's it for? Oh, great. The accident in the canteen. Think about our canteen. Think about what can happen in the canteen in terms of an accident. And this group, the funeral. Go. I'm giving you 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes. Let's go. This is probably the third year that I've used those scenarios. These are events and places that they can draw from in their own personal lives as well. You know, I'm sure everybody in there has been to a picnic before, everybody's been to a party, you know, they have a concept of what a food, you know, what would be going on at a funeral, you know, we can get good work using these, these scenarios as stimulus for them to build their picture. Have you got no, you got this. Oh no, Kelly, you stand here. I won't be right that, right that. You won't be blocking no one. Yeah. Are we, are we in the church? Yeah. Bye! Now, these are some of the things that need to be very clear. Who you are in the... Who you are in this picture. It needs to be clear. For example, this group, you're going with the picnic and you're seeing a group of friends. All right, but it's not, it's not clear because you could be yourselves. I want you to be somebody else, perhaps a family, you know, something like that. All right, go. Okay, so, yeah, so, not? Be more, so we can have okay. two okay. carrots standing up and like maybe okay. you can be a small little child. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the one, I'll be the other <laughs> kid. <laughs> what is wrong with this picture? Step out, look at your picture. What is wrong with it? There's nothing happening. What about the levels? We do have really high expectations here. And I think as teachers, we should have high expectations. We should be constantly, in every lesson, raising the bar, setting targets, going to a classroom, firm, you know, let the, you know, let the, the, the pupils know, this is what I expect from you in terms of behavior. Um, sometimes she can be all right, but sometimes she can be harsh. But, at the end, we kind of get it, and she's kind of proud. I'm dancing, I'm proud. Yeah, yeah. And you're there. And you feel like taking the picture. They're learning from each other, they're sharing ideas and talking about the work. And I think, you know, that is how we learn. That is how we learn when we talk about it, because discussion informs the drama. To the count of five, one, two, three, four, and five. Hold it. I should be looking at these pictures and, and these pictures should be telling a story. All right. It looks as if we're just getting your profile. We're just getting your profile and a bit of your back. You're actually the camera person. You're taking a photo of... Of them. And who are they? She's the birthday girl and she's the cousin holding the cake. Okay, good. You know who, who they are. Excellent. However, this is what you've got to do. You've got to angle your picture so that we can see everybody. Because right now, you're blocking. We can't see you. You're back in the audience. You're being blocked. All right? So you've got to fix that. Go off and fix it. All right? Who are the two of you at the wedding? The bride, the bride. The bride and the groom. The bride and the groom. How about... They be the only ones standing, all right? Because, like you said, they're important. It's their wedding. So what could you two be doing? Eating and eating. Sitting and eating. Good. Can you do that? Fix your picture. Looking at a picture where everybody's on the same level, sometimes you cannot define who is who and exactly what they're communicating to the audience. You can go down a bit. I've never talked about levels before, so I was actually really surprised that some of them actually got it. You go on to one knee like that. So you're a bit high. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. We're going to have to face the audience. Yeah. All right, five. <laughs> really good work, girls. Can we all sit here? Can you sit back some more? Because we've got to give them room to perform. All right? Remember what I said, girls, when we look at the work. We don't clap. We put our hands up to make comments. One, two, three. <laughs> Four and five. So what is happening? What is the story? Yes. I think Ron has fell down and they're trying to like hold her.
Neslihan was laughing and I think Kirkan was about to say something to Buki and then Buki had kind of like a, a, a expression that she doesn't want no trouble. Okay. It looks like a kind of playground punch up. Uh -huh. A little uh -huh. bit. Okay. All right. Maybe Kelly is tripped over and she's carrying food. Okay. So maybe Topsy is quite like scared. Mm -hmm. Some of the girls got it, they knew what the picture was about, but some of them actually thought it was something completely different. And it wasn't a case of them being wrong, but it was their own interpretation of it. In the first lesson, one of the first things I said to the girls was that in drama there's no definite answer. You know, it, drama is about what, you know, it's about feelings, what, about what you think and what you believe. So there's no right or wrong, it's all about interpretation. Hold it for us. Girls, let's hear, let's hear your comments, put your hands up. Yes. Everyone there wouldn't be kneeling, because some might be um, standing up. Like. So they need more what? Uh, they more level. Good, they need more levels, thank you. You know, you throw like, the dust down. Oh, One good. Be doing that. Right, they could be gesturing. Good point. What you need to work on with regard to this picture are the gestures they're not big enough so we don't really know what you're doing well yeah you, you're praying and yeah you're crying but perhaps something else more action is needed good work really good one two three four and five big gestures really exaggerated hold it what is good about this picture? The good thing was when those three were sitting down, they weren't blocking each other. Okay, good. Yes. Um, and I could tell that Marve was that, um, being still. She didn't move a muscle okay. or anything like that. Okay. All, right. All the elements that I listed on board, um, whether it was the levels, the big clear gestures, the facial expressions, these are things that actually make a good frozen picture. So I knew what I wanted from them. Now, let's just recap what we, what we did from the start. What have you learnt today? What have you learnt today? Put your hands up. What have you learnt? What have you learnt? How to tell a story. How to tell a story via a frozen picture. Good. I've learned like, how to make things clear and how the story was going by facial expressions. I've learned that we should have balance in what we do. In um, the? Yeah. In the picture? If we're moving or not. I've learned that you can make a really good story not just by motion and speech, but yeah. by frozen pictures. Excellent. Right, you're quiet. Why are people chatting? Next lesson, we're going to build on those pictures. Perhaps I'm going to get them to add a line to the picture now, all in chorus. Actually, bring the picture to life where there's going to be movement and sound. So it's a build up, it's a gradual build up. Good work, girls. Really good. Yeah. Some teachers might say, oh, that is so regimental. But the arts are disciplines. I mean, you're creative, yes, you go off and, you know, you create the work and um, you show the work, but then, you know, you've got to rehearse and you've got to be focused. And that is discipline. What we did today is... Is, is what I call the foundation, it's the lane of the foundation. If you haven't got a good foundation, you're not we're, we're going to have a, a sturdy house, sorry. Your foundation has to be solid. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs>